Well, street art, you know, um, you know, graffiti artists, you know, were out writing their names, you know what I'm saying? And then you started to see new artists come out, not necessarily putting their names in the street anymore, but putting the political messages, illustrative messages, just, you know, their their own ideas on, on walls and street corners, using the environment uh, in juxtaposition with the art. So, you know, for me, just, you know, street artists, it, you know, it could be so many things, you know, it could be the way trash is piled up on the corner, get a sense of some type of feel or, or, or environment from that. So, um, for me, you know, putting my art in the streets was an outlet because, you know, everybody can't get in the gallery, you know what I'm saying? So for me, the street always was the best way to show my peers what I was doing or what I was thinking. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, and uh, by way of Charleston, South Carolina, and D.C., um, most East Coast. I went to school at Pratt Institute in, in Brooklyn, New York. You know, this is the first opportunity that I got to show some of my artwork um, over the past years and, and just some of the street art ideas I've been doing in the gallery and on the West Coast. So, you know, this is a collection of work that I brought across the states with me on my journeys uh, over to my new home in, in the Bay. And um, basically, you know, all, all these are influences. Uh, you know, that are, that are uh, seeded from my childhood and, and you know, just things and, and ideas that I think uh, deserve a place, you know, uh, on the wall and in the streets. And I started writing uh, trap art in the streets and, uh, you know, my idea initially with trap art was uh, not necessarily a brand uh, or branding for myself, but I, I just thought, you know, there's contemporary art, cubism, futurism, uh, contemporary art, modern art, all these different genres, and then you got pop art um, in, in you know, the early 70s and 80s, and, and I think now we, the new generation is embracing what I call trap art, and you know, it's, 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 it's out of uh, struggles that, that my peers, like myself, you know, and icons that are understanding to a lot of people that haven't had a chance to be, you know, immortalized, so I started writing trap art, and now, you know, it's really, you know, becoming more of a, a genre of art, I think, you know, that a lot of heads can relate to. So my work, um, you know, I've got Kanye West, Lisa Bonet from, uh, from the Cosby Show, uh, Buckwheat, uh, Eddie Murphy, uh, a lot of different uh, facets of, of growing up, you know, representing.